Hey there, welcome back to our new media campaign. So in the previous episode, we left off on the verge of dealing with this little provincial uh, riot that's happening brewing over here. So we'll have to deal with that. We do have some high AE to deal with. Uh, so I'm probably going to kick this episode off right now just by performing a little divine sacrifice there. We have the political influence for it. So that should help somewhat for the next little while. And also, in order to deal with this AE, I might just raise one stack of levies here. And by doing so, I, that will allow me to invoke the Devotio. And I'm going to bump up our uh, tyranny somewhat, so that helps with the aggressive expansion. That does put us on the brink of civil war, so we might have to bribe a guy. Maybe this guy right here. Uh, we do have some pretty disloyal people here. This guy seems to be the most powerful out of them, so maybe I'll deal with him. So I'm just going to give him a quick bribe, so that should negate that problem for now. So also, why don't I unpause it here? For now, I, what I would like to do, since we actually can, we do have the uh, tech for it. I'm going to delete a building in here and build a grand theater so we can get the... Uh, pop assimilation going a little bit quicker here as we do see a death of a minor character we don't really care about that so how soon until this province revolts we do see a few of them Bissatis, uh okay well this one is bastatania that's going to go off in 44 months Tingitania will go off in 55 months, and this one will go off in the next two months. So we're going to have to deal with this one first. So yeah, okay, that's what we'll deal with first and foremost this episode. Pretty soon we will be able to... In fact, I may as well do it right now, uh, because the next month we will max out our military experience. So why don't I go over to our military traditions, and we can pick up this one right here. Ditto's Revenge, which will grant us a bonus to National Freeman Output, which we have, lots of Freeman, and Axeman Discipline. Now, I believe our levies, we do use Axeman. We use Axeman almost as much as we use Light Infantry, so that's pretty decent. I think I'll go with that. So, on the verge of finishing uh, this tree over here, the question is, where do I want to go next? I could go down this one. We do use a lot of cavalry in our levies, so it kind of makes sense to go down here and buff those up a bit. But also, if we look at the Punic traditions, this little tree over here, this one's kind of decent. This one gives us a bonus to mercenary army maintenance. Uh, this one also to mercenary army maintenance, as well as recruitment cost. Uh, this one gives us heavy infantry offense and defense. That's not going to be too much of a thing until we start making, uh, legions, which I still am going to wait a little bit, uh, for before I start doing that. And this one is really nice. This one bumps up our levy size as well as, um, just giving us these two give us just a bunch of extra pops. So that, that might be something I want to go down at some point. So do I want to go down this one or this one? At some point. Uh, well, I kind of want to go down both of them. And then eventually at some point, we're probably going to go down the Iberian path. So we'll see what we end up doing. Uh, we do have some barbarians to deal with over here. So I'm going to have you guys go over there and deal with that. And the next month, I believe this next month tick here, once soon as it turns May, this little province is going to go full on ballistic on us here. So we will send you guys over here. And go deal with... Oh, and it's going to be this province as well. Okay. So maybe we want to raise the levies of Numidia as well to deal with this. Why don't you guys head on over there and deal with that. I'm going to actually have you guys come over here and try to fight these guys. This first levy of Africa over here. We do see barbarians are moved on over here. So we'll have you guys deal with that. And it looks like they've got a couple of levies to deal with. So why don't we... I'm going to actually have you guys go on independent ops. I don't want to have to constantly chase you guys around. So hopefully we can finish off these barbarians here. Doesn't look like we will, but we will chase them on over here and finish them off over here while they have absolutely no morale. Like so. And we got five ducats out of that. That's not bad. So maybe I'll have you guys come over here and deal with this siege as our mercenaries have caught up with their levies. 
which is nice. And we do see these levies over here. Untiring Devotion. I will absolutely take this. And it looks like we have uh, finally moved on from our ruler, who, who was just not refusing to die. I mean, but he has finally uh, moved on. So he has uh, passed away. Our stability is in the toilet, but that's to be expected. So now we have to pick a focus for our current ruler now, who is... Pro I don't know how long she's going to be able to last. Uh, we'll see, but I guess I will go into the... Maybe charisma or... Yeah, I mean, since charisma is her is her good, good trait, maybe I'll go in here. We can go into the populist focus. And for now, I guess... We, is her son married? I think we did deal with that. Yeah, okay. He is married, but did we... Yes, okay. Blood of the Mithrid Mithridatids. That's who we got her... To. That's where we got her from. Right, okay. I forgot about that. So actually, why don't you guys come over here and deal with this? As we do need a tutor for our son here. So, it doesn't look like we can get him into Marshall, but I guess he can go into the matters of the Divine. That's fine. We do see another Civil War, pending Civil War here. We have a rather disloyal Chancellor. But I think our Marshal is the one who is the one that we kind of want to deal with. See, why is he so disloyal? Because he is plotting quietly. And we refused funding. That must have been for some previous um, event that I forget about. But for now, and he is our rival. Of course he is. So, you know what? For now, I'm just going to have to bite the bullet on this. And just give him free hands. I don't want to do that. It's not something I like, but it is what it is. Placator, or pretender placated. Okay, that's fine. So why don't you guys actually come over here? As our mercenaries are actually doing quite well dealing with these guys. Looks like they are going to head over here. Incendiary Slave speaks in this place over here. So, I'm just going to round up the troublemakers. And, uh, actually, that helps with the loyalty of the governor of Mauritania, who's rather low. So, I'm just going to round up the troublemakers and his supporters and crucify them. Which is kind of brutal, but, uh, that's kind of how we do things here. Uh, in meantime, for you, I am going to have you prove legitimacy. Our legitimacy is rather low. And it's probably going to on its way down because our stability is so low. Meanwhile, we did stack wipe these guys over here, so that's nice. So yeah, it's a bit it's a bit tough right now because uh, our our ruler passed away and uh, our stability went with him. Uh, that hurts our population happiness. But if we can just in the meantime continue to gather political influence and when needed uh, perform a divine sacrifice, hopefully she doesn't die. Like she can at least last a few years. If she can at least last like. 10 years that could be okay as we won a fight over here and basically we have just a couple of sieges to deal with once we deal with them we will enforce our demands on this little war here um as far as the economy is concerned maybe i will reduce the fort maintenance and fleet maintenance just save a little bit of extra money as we did win this siege over here Actually, why don't you guys come over here and deal with that? Actually, our vassals have done with that, so that's good. You guys are dealing with this siege over here. And once you guys do that, then that will effectively be it for this war. And oh, that was actually a rather good roll there. So we will just let this tick over. And like so, we will enforce our demands like so. Maybe that will allow us to reduce aggressive expansion. And I will disband our levies. That actually gives us a good amount of uh, military experience gained from that. That bumps us up to 136. So you guys, I guess for now, we do have another couple of provincial revolts brewing. So yeah, maybe you guys will head on over here. I do see Bastatania looks like over here is going to revolt. Can we do something about that? Not quite. I don't really feel like spending the PI. I'd rather just let them revolt and then just crush them. To be honest with you. 
In the meantime, since we can build Grand Theaters, I might do that. Uh, I am not going to go after the Bear Hunt. I am not going to do that. I am going to start building some Grand Theaters. Perhaps I will start by putting them in here. These are very populous areas, so we'll start over here. And uh, maybe, maybe one over here as well. Our economy is looking pretty good. And we do see some barbarians happening, so I'm going to have to get you guys to come over here. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll have you guys meet up with our fleet, and they will have you uh, uh, take you over there. So in eight months, it looks like Bastatania is going to revolt. So yeah, we've got quite a bit of problems when it comes to provincial, but that's because our stability is so low. It is being helped with the reduction of our aggressive expansion. It is on its way down. And maybe, like I said before, we were going to start to commit going down here. Maybe before I do, I will just pick up, like, one more uh, Diplo, uh, Diplo uh, Reputation te uh, tech just to help with that. I think our Diplo Reputation is only at three right now. We could maybe uh, increase that if we traded for honey. But um, do I want to get rid of anything? Maybe not. Maybe we could get rid of uh, olives. Or wheat. Wheat has, food has not been a problem right now. So maybe I will cancel the wheat just temporarily. I will do that. And maybe I'll get rid of the horses. As, actually, yeah, I'll get rid of the horses and the olives. And I will trade for some honey. That will help with the Diplo reputation as well. Give us a little bit of extra pop growth. So we'll do that for now. We actually have a couple of free provincial investments. But I, I think I said before that I was going to save that for when we eventually move our capital over here. We'd like to move our capital over here as soon as we can make this. Um, so the dominant religion has to be has to be both of our religion and it has to be of our culture as well. So we have to make this the dominant of our culture as well, which is on its way. Right now, Massilian makes up 23% of the population. And the provincial loyalty has to go up as well. But that is going to be dealt with. It's not... Oh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Okay. Well, you know, we might have to deal with that at some point. In the meantime... Yeah, why don't you guys head on over there? What was it going down at? It was going down at some crazy rate. 0.66. Yikes. That is bad. So you guys are about to embark on our navy here. So you guys come on over here. I guess we'll meet you up over here. And you guys will try to fight the barbarians who are sieging this little place down. We did just, looks like, get another, we have to fill out our trade capital here, or trade route here. Maybe we do see olives. Olives are not a bad idea. They increase slave happiness nationwide, so we will go with that. We'll get some olives going. In the meantime, our mercenaries are about to arrive in here. Why don't you head up over there? You are still proving legitimacy, right, which is, uh, it's still working its way downward. Looks like the mercenaries are actually, or the barbarians are going to siege up this place over here. That's kind of annoying. So we will fight them over here. Probably not finish them off this fight. Like so, and you guys, why don't you head them on over here and finish them off over here. Hopefully we get a little bit of money from that. Do we? We should. It's not saying anything. Interesting. We didn't get any money out of that. So in the meantime, Bastatania, you're about to go off in, let's see, how many months? Four months. And then Tingitania, Rutubus. Yeah, it's a bunch of problems right now. So if we can get, the, if we can get some good events popping up, that would be really, really nice. But I don't know if that's going to happen. So yeah, it's going to be a couple of months now. Two months now, and then oh, it looks like our former allies, oh no, or no, not uh, our former allies. The guys who crushed our former allies are getting crushed themselves by Tithia, 
who are no longer our allies. So maybe we want to replace them with someone, but that's going to be hard to do with such high aggressive expansion. Let's just fill this all out for a second here. Now, you guys, you are Corencia. Okay, minus six. You might be willing to. So if I were to improve relations with you, that might make you want to. Anywhere else, Rome, you are a great power. Ptolemaic Kingdom, you don't like us at all. Pontus might be interesting, but I don't think you'll be willing. Thrace, not a chance. Kush, minus 81. Maybe I will improve with Kush. Just in case. Uh, they might come in handy at some point. If we can get an ally with them. At some point, I would like to fight the Ptolemaic Kingdom. It looks like Garamancha has actually finished their war against uh, Carthage and have taken this territory. Annoyingly, they didn't take this. So that means, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of annoying. And uh, means that we're going to have to fight Garamancha at some point. So it looks like Uberania is now uh, in revolt of us. So we are going to have to send you guys over here. Right? So why am I not able to send you guys in there? Oh, because I keep clicking on the... Uh, there we go. I was clicking on the on the Navy. So we're going to have to send you guys in there and stack wipe these guys. Maybe I will actually raise some levies in the meantime. And I will just have you guys go on independent ops. So in 12 months, Tingitania will also join them. Hopefully we can finish this war in the meantime. So it looks like we got to take this problem. So we're here in just a couple of forts in here. I would like to delete these forts, but I can't right now because this province is simply too disloyal. If we were to switch it to harsh treatment, that wouldn't be enough. So may as well just let it just let it go off. Our vassals are helping or they were helping us, but they get, looks like they lost a little fight there. We are going to have to replace this governor over here with someone. Someone hopefully who is loyal. Like I'd like to put this guy in. He's got a decent trait harsh which increases the local slave output he's not particularly loyal and he's a little corrupt so that's not ideal we could go down here and replace him with this guy who doesn't have the best finesse but he's a decent marshal and he's got some decent traits he's assertive and he's prominent and he's not terribly disloyal and he's not corrupt so i will put him in man oh man the province loyalty is really bad right now we got to get our stability up so it looks like our levy is moving in over here. That's fine. Our mercenaries are going to take this fort over here. And maybe I would might... Okay, you guys have changed your mind. That's a little annoying. And it looks like... Who are these guys? We're at war with Oropaya as well. Did they form an alliance? They must have. Yeah, they formed an alliance with Oropaya. Interesting. Okay, so maybe we want to hire these mercenaries over here as well. I'm going to do that. That will allow us... Actually, that that's not a bad thing. We could just take these guys out right now. So I'm going to have these guys go on unit reorg. I will actually... Do we want to reorganize this? No, I'll leave the elephants in there. But I'm going to have you guys go on shock action for now. Are you guys on shock action? Yeah, what is the best option? Shock action is pretty much the best option. But I guess I'll leave you guys on that. So, you guys actually just hang out there. And Oropaya is sieging this down, which is rather annoying of them. They ha they're going to take this over here, which kind of hurts. Four pops have died from that little, that little raid right there. That kind of sucks. So, once we can get these guys fully recovered with their morale i will probably just send them straight over here and start sieging this down once you guys have taken this which you just have i will have you fight these guys over here you should be able to win that easily i should think because you have way higher marshal and it looks like they are frantically trying to run away they're not going to be able to do so and we are going to win decisively there as yeah we only lost 503 they lost almost 2000 that's nice why don't you head back over here, take that back. They've got two massive forts that they have put a lot of time into there. This is a level 3 fort, and this is also a level 3 fort. So that's that's going to take some time. 
to uh, to uh, deal with. Actually, why don't you guys just head there now? We don't need you to fight. We'll just have you siege. So you guys are going to take that back. I will have you guys come over here and take that. Our levies are almost... We have some barbarians uh, popping up where? Down over here. Can't deal with that right now. Our levies are almost done with this. And in four months, Tingitania is going to go off. Okay. So this uh, this is a little bit of a problem episode right now. We've got a bunch of uh, disloyalty. So what is this? Granaries raided over here. Well, we might just replace the stockpile. We have lots of cash. So we can do that and bump up the loyalty of the governor of Mauritania, which I might do. I will do that. That is fine. We still have lots of money in the tank. You guys come over here and start this siege over here. And once we do that, maybe I'll actually have you guys come down over here and prepare for Tingitania, which is about to go off relatively soon in three months. Hopefully you guys can finish the siege in the meantime at 35%. Let's see, can we get a good roll? Bar barbarians are hitting us down here. Yeah, we know that. And I'm going to have to replace this guy over here with, I guess, this guy. And pretty soon my alarm's going to go off. So this, this whole problem that we're dealing with right now is probably going to carry into the next episode. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get this to fall. You know what? No, there's no breach, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rush it just yet. We're not invincible when it comes to manpower. We're not at that point in the game yet. Once it's like the mid game, then it's then it's basically just like you're basically unstoppable with that kind of thing. So yeah. So now Tingitania is riding against us, and that is these two provinces over here. So maybe I will raise some levies down here, here, and here. I will have you guys group up. Like so. And who has the higher marshal? Do you? No. You have the higher marshal. I will have you attach. Uh, attachments allowed. You guys attach. And I will have you guys just start this little siege over here. In the meantime, once our levies over here are done this siege, which should be soon, it's been stuck on 35 for quite a while, then I will have you guys head on down here and start this siege right over here. Once we're done this war, I'll probably... Ooh, we actually just caught into a fight here, in which we happen to win. I wasn't paying attention there. But we will start this siege over here. Hopefully our levies can win this siege, like so. I will have you guys come down here and start this siege, like so. And uh, these two sieges are coming along. That's nice. Uh, we do see an army legion. Oropaya has a legion of soldiers. That is troubling. But we did get a very nice roll there. So actually, you guys try to come over here and fight the legion should they... I'm not sure where they are. There they are. They're kind of running around. Looks like they're going to try to take this back over here. Maybe I'll just have you guys take this over here. Actually, no. We're going to have you come over here. They are going to try to take this siege back over here. We don't want that. Bountiful Harvest. We could get almost 400 gold from that, but I will absolutely take the stability. That helps greatly. I mean, it's only it's only three stability, but anything... Oh my god, that was a bad roll. But they we did scare them off. Why don't you guys come over here? We can grab another omen. And I'm going to go for Pekax and get that pop happiness right now. That is what we need. That is absolutely what we need. You guys come over here and try to fight these, these levies that are running around. These guys are being really annoying. So we got a couple of more sieges happening over here. We did win this siege over here. You guys take that. So we're almost done this war. We basically have taken all the the sieges that we need to take. I don't want you guys fighting that siege right now. I want you guys to try to fighting these guys. Let's see. Where are they? They're just kind of running around. I'm not sure what they're doing. So you guys are going to take that. I will have you guys then come over here. 
So once we take this and this and this, then we can piece this war out and focus our, our efforts south over here. But these guys are being kind of unpredictable. I don't really know what they're doing. Uh, this will likely add to our uh, aggressive expansion. It looks like they are coming over here. That's fine. So once these tick over, I will peace out of this war. Enforce our demands like so. So we can just take all of that for another 20 aggressive expansion. Oh man. Is it worth it? I think it's worth it. Let's just do it. We will... We will reduce our aggressive expansion somewhat. So we're back to 69. So, okay. You guys come over here. Deal with that. Actually, I'll just have you guys go on independent ops for now. Just go on independent ops. That's fine. Our vassals are fighting the enemy down over here. And I guess once we are done with this war, then we will put a cut in here. It actually looks like we are doing okay with... a. Uh, oh, yeah, there just kind of popped up again. Cathargo is looking like it's going to go off in 24 months, so in two years. Uh, as far as the Divine Sacrifice, this, this still hasn't worn off yet. So we're going to have to deal with that eventually. You guys come over here and fight these guys. I told you guys to go on... Independent ops, man, you guys aren't seeming to be doing anything. So in the meantime, I will actually delete some of these forts. We don't need so many in this area, especially now that we've got these two big ones. I'm going to use these two big ones. And you guys fight these guys. So that should help our economy somewhat. So we just got to take this over here. We could actually rush it or assault it, which I think I will, since there is a breach. That shouldn't be too bad when it comes to the losses. And you guys just come over here. Take that and call it a war. And we will call it an episode. This guy needs a wife. That's good to know. I don't really feel like dealing with that right now. And in the meantime, I guess I'm going to actually delete this unit right here. Uh, what is this? Of Tyrants and Patriots. Okay. The tyrannical rule of Tagili Eno... Is that this lady? Yeah, that's our current uh, leader right here. Has stretched even her most loyal subjects to the limit. She hasn't been in command that long. Her popularity is extremely high. What is this talking about? With the right words, the elites could be persuaded to back someone who will take matters into their own hands for the sake of the throne. Nadalsa Nadal Vermina is widely regarded as the best bet. He is a government official of some influence known as solid and reliable and with the best interest of new media at heart. Of course, in ventures like these, it can be hard to predict how events will unfold, even if the plot succeeds. But for, but death for all those directly involved is almost certain if they should fail. Uh, we could imprison this guy, which will raise our tyranny and cost us five stability. Yikes. Or I could just say desperate times and really kind of do nothing. And this guy will try to... Seeks or he, he'll attempt to widen his support for a coup a, or a coup against uh, our leader. Ooh. Ooh, do I do nothing or do I lower my stability even more? Oh, man. Do I risk doing nothing about it? I mean, she probably won't be around that much longer, to be honest. Very poor health. Our primary heir is 30. Still doesn't have any kids. Hmm. Now, I should probably do something about it, though. Yeah, no, I feel like I should. I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going to imprison this guy. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to imprison him. And I'm actually going to go to the characters, imprison, and I will just quickly sell this guy into slavery. Just get rid of him. Goodbye, good riddance. You guys come over here, or uh, not the fleet, you guys come over here. And we are going to have to replace the governor of Mauritania with someone who's not a complete jerk. And I don't know who that's going to be. Very little loyalty that we have in our in our kingdom right now. These are tough times indeed. Uh, I mean, you're not loyal, but at least you're not corrupt. You are have a decent trait, but you are exceedingly, exceedingly corrupt. 
Masanisa Galid, I was looking at you earlier, but yeah, you're. I don't know. You are not terribly disloyal, but you don't have a. Yeah, submissive is not a good trait, but you you are just with a little bit of uh, corruption there. And he's rather popular. I'm gonna try this guy. I'm gonna try him. We'll see what that does for us. So I'm gonna just take this province over here. And, or no, this one over here, and once we do that, we should be able to piece out this war entirely. And lower our levies, and I will call it an episode from here, once this ticks over. Like so. We will enforce our demands and take everything back. We will banish those of class and put the rest of the sword, reducing our aggressive expansion somewhat, and we will lower our levies. And let's see, where is the next one going to happen? It looks like Cathargo is the next one, so I'm going to have you guys come over this way here. You guys, okay, so this one is currently at... I mean, there's no, I mean, I, I, there's no point in switching it to heart treatment. That will only save us 0 .30 per month. And this is going down at 0.67 per month, so there's no point. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. Okay, well, since we did solve that issue for now, we are going to delete these forts. Let's just get rid of them. And uh, for now, I'm going to put a cut in here. This has been a bit of a rocky episode. We actually did expand the borders, despite not intending to. We did expand the borders. We took the rest of Oropaya, our former allies. And uh, next episode is probably going to be more of the same of this, to be honest. We just got to get the stability up. It's a bit of an issue right now. But uh, for now, yeah, we're just going to sit tight and uh, deal with more uh, provincial revolts, probably. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.